Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to talk about a new security feature that uh, Facebook um, enabled or installed in, 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 in their system. Um, to enable it, let's go to um, the drop down menu and settings and then click on security. And then what I'm going to talk about today is this public key. So security settings, public key. Now. Uh, the description is manage and open PGP key on your Facebook pro profile and enable encrypted notifications. So if we click edit, uh, first off, you might be wondering what, what does this do? Um, open PGP is a, uh, public, uh, public private key pair essentially that lets, um, lets you have secure communication, uh, yeah, lets you have secure communication. So let's say that somebody wants to send you an encrypted message that only you can access. Um, they get your public key and then they encrypt a message with your public key and then only the private key can decrypt the message. Okay, so you have a public key that's yours and anyone can have it and they use that to be able to encrypt messages and send those encrypted messages to you. Then you also have a private key or a secret key and you are the only one that has access to that secret key and using that secret key you can uh, decrypt the message and if only you have access to the secret key only you can decrypt it okay so the idea of, of you might hear it as pgp or gpg uh, is basically to use these keys to be able to send or set up um, uh, secure encrypted communications. Okay, so um, now think about this for a second. You have two keys. One is a public key. So one person has a public key. One person has a private key, right? The same person has two keys. And if I want to send a message to my friend, I also need their public key and they have to have a private key. So we have to exchange public keys if we want to send a two-way encrypted communication. Otherwise, we're just one of us can basically encrypt the message if we only have one one public key. Okay, so uh, I think I'll talk a little bit more about how to actually generate these keys in a later video, but what I want to talk about today is specifically the fact that Facebook is allowing us to upload our public key. Um, so this is, says open PGP public key. Uh, I tend to use uh, GPG2 uh, to generate my keys and maybe I'll show how to do that later. Um, but what you need to know is uh, whenever we go into uh, security and security settings and uh, the public key uh, tab, um, I've already generated my secure key here. So it's up on the, the key server. This is my public key that's already been created. Um, because anyone can have our public key, we tend to upload them to um, secure servers. Okay, so I've added my public key. And this basically lets Facebook encrypt messages to me. So it says, uh, use this public key to encrypt notification emails that Facebook sends to you. So if you check this box, you receive an encrypted validation email to make sure that you can decrypt it. Uh, if you're able to decrypt the verification email, click provided Facebook as encrypted notifications. So basically what this lets you do is uh, Facebook will encrypt notifications to you uh, about your account, about you know group messages and things like that. So if um, if you're in a group that is potentially, you know, anti-government or maybe you're, you're planning some sort of protest or something like that, if you're in that type of group and you believe that someone is monitoring your emails, then this will at least encrypt, encrypt the, um, the notifications that Facebook, uh, sends to you. Okay. Now, the other thing that this potentially does, uh, is lets people associate a key with uh, a user profile. So if you have your key here, if you've set your key, you've confirmed basically with Facebook that, you know, this account uses this key. So if you want to send this person encrypted emails or encrypted chats, uh, you can. Okay. Um, I'm going to look more into whether, whether you can actually, whether Facebook, uh, would encrypt chats or whether they would, um, you know, encrypt other information or if it's just notification emails, but at least, you know, now, uh, any of your activities that are done on Facebook, you can encrypt them into, you know, email or whatever, whatever notifications you're receiving from Facebook. So just select that. 
whenever you click that and click save, then it asks for your password, uh, which I'm not going to do right now. And then you receive an email uh, that is encrypted. And if you can decrypt that email and click the confirm link, then that key is now associated with your account. So the reason that I would, I, I think this is interesting is first off, um, there is a legitimate use for people to get encrypted emails about uh, notifications from Facebook. Like I said, if you're in particular groups that might be very, very sensitive, uh, or if you believe that, uh, you know, somebody's, somebody's monitoring your activities, uh, you might want to encrypt those notification emails. Um, another reason is specifically to associate the key with a real account. Now, um, there is this website called keybase.io, however, not a lot of people know about it. Um, everyone, almost everyone probably knows about Facebook, but very few people know about keybase.io. So keybase.io also, um, also uh, lets you associate your, your PGP, your GPG keys with um, known social media accounts, basically. It's a, it's a way to verify that, you know, these accounts do use this key, uh, which is extremely um, important for security. So uh, I recommend, first off, looking into keybase.io. This is my account if you want to add me. Uh, look into generating uh, PGP keys and then also think about what kind of information would you not want anyone to know? Like, why does anyone need to know about your Facebook notifications? I mean, it doesn't even matter if it's, you know, about your niece's birthday. Why should your niece's birthday information be publicly available or available to anyone who gets access to your email, including cyber criminals who might take over your accounts? So, I mean, it's not just about hiding secrets, right? It's about protecting yourself also from spying, I mean, there's lots of different reasons that we might want to protect uh, and encrypt some of the some of the messages or uh, some of the information that we're receiving. Um, I think this is an excellent initiative. I'm not sure. I, I don't think they took it far enough, uh, but we'll see how far they actually go uh, with using open PGP keys on Facebook and whether we can eventually uh, encrypt, uh, you know, chats and things like that. Now, a caveat here. Google or uh, Facebook is using your uh, your your public key to encrypt messages to you. That means Google has access to the unencrypted messages before they reach you, right? So assume that uh, in the future, or possibly even now, if both friends have public PGP keys available and they want to email themselves or um, you know message securely between each other. Well, Facebook is the one that's doing the encrypting on both sides. So you send a message, it's encrypted, um, and then sent to your friend, forwarded to your friend. That means that Facebook still potentially has uh, the ability to be able to kind of do a man in the middle attack and, and monitor those communications. So this is a step in the right direction. Um, end to end encryption would be great. Uh, we'll see if they actually start to do messaging like that. So. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about open PGP uh, public key enabled in Facebook because I think it's really interesting that they're doing it. Um, you can use it to um, first off associate a key with your, your public identity, uh, which then could be used to encrypt emails to you or verify that you are who you say you are. Um, yeah, but just the potential for this is is huge. So I recommend looking into this and Definitely, if you're not already encrypting messages to yourself or encrypting messages to your friends, um, it's an excellent way to take back some of the control uh, of your own privacy. So thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe for more.